guys, it's Maggie. Um, it's been a while since I posted a video, and it's been never since I posted an unedited, completely one-take video. So I don't know how this is going to go, but let's find out. Uh, like I said, it's been a while since I did a video, and that is mostly because I've been colleging, and that's not an excuse. There's been many times where I wanted to do a video, but for some reason I couldn't get up the guts to do it and face this tiny square box that you see me in now again. And the only reason why I'm doing it now is because of my good friend, Romy, who started making videos, and they're funny and awesome, and I'll put a link to him in the description below. How cute I'll is that. And, um, and he basically encouraged me to start making videos again, and I realized, you know, how much I missed it and loved it. So I guess that mainly the thing that I should mention is college, and uh, I really love college. Um, since I've been back for the summer, people have been saying, like, oh, you know, how do you like being home? And I literally just say I hate it and I want to go back to Spring Hill right now. And they always try to laugh it off. Like, oh, I'm like, I'm not kidding. And it's so crazy because literally everyone who I talk about, um, who I talk to, says that they feel the exact same way. It was actually at my orientation, we call it Badge to Connection, where um, someone asked a question to one of the guys and they said, enjoy your last summer of liking summer like enjoy your last summer of liking being home because from now on you're just going to want to go back to campus and i didn't take that seriously and it's exactly what happened like spring hill is such a home community and i love everything about it like i love the teachers and learning and i love my classes and i love my friends and just even when there was drama and fighting there was always someone to talk to and there was always you know people who loved you and even when you were doing something embarrassing or awful or, you know, there was always someone else who was there for you. It's, it's crazy. And um, I'm not only a proud, <laughs> proud Spring Hill Badger, I am a proud Delta Gamma sister now. And um, I, I can't really describe what my sisters have done for me. And it sounds really cheesy, I know, but I never had a sister. And um, I just felt very loved and very accepted the minute that I joined my sisterhood. The minute, I, even before I joined, I knew it was a Delta Gamma, you know, from the beginning. I saw all the girls and I got along with them immediately and I knew that that's where I wanted to be and those are the girls that I wanted to be, you know, next to for my four years and onward, you know, and my whole life. And I just, I can't imagine a different outcome. I can't imagine, you know, being anyone but a Delta Gamma. I feel like I wasn't, I didn't become a Delta Gamma. I've always been a Delta Gamma. And now I'm just able to wear the letters. <laughs> that sounds really cheesy, but it's true. And um, I got to see true love. <laughs> Again, that sounds so cheesy, but I got to watch actually my great grand egg, Katie, walk down the aisle this summer um, to a man who could not love her anymore. And it came at a time where um, I wasn't really believing in that so much anymore, at least not for me. And seeing that so real, like seeing the love on a guy's face, you know, when a girl walks in the door in a white dress and looking, you know, perfect to him because his face was just so amazing and it was so great to see someone who was there for me in such a big way have her biggest dream come true and find love and I feel like I got way more out of this year than I deserved but uh, it couldn't have been better so got pretty deep hope you're satisfied from me later days